Hello, my name is Jesse Walter and this is another UDK tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover importing your meshes. Now I've already imported this bus. This was something I picked up on TurboSquid for free. Uh, I'd much rather model my own bus and vehicles but due to my lack of time right now to get these tutorials done uh, I went ahead and used uh, someone else's bus. Now to give this person proper credit for uh, the bus model you can find this person uh, artist ERLHN on TurboSquid. I was not completely uh, satisfied with the bus but that may be um, because I was using this person's uh, exported FBX's from 3D Max and imported these FBX's into Maya uh, because Maya is what I'm more familiar with. Uh, there were some problems with the uh, faces and the um, um, geometry but once again sometimes these things happen when you uh, try to use multiple different softwares. But uh, I decided to go ahead and make do with this and did some modifications and fixes to the model uh, in Maya so that uh, I can get rid of some of the, the in-gun issues and stuff that uh, would pop up um, potentially when importing into UDK. So I thank that artist for creating this model um, for this demo. Um, unfortunately I'm going to be you know, or fortunately for me, uh, in the near future I'll be creating my own bus and other vehicles. I picked up a couple of other vehicles from this particular artist. Uh, I really uh, picked them up because they had a dilapidated look to them and that's what I needed and then I went into Photoshop and modified those textures so that I'd have this nice burn crash look. Now if you remember from um, original diagram and this was just a very basic simple drawing um, and I've gotten a lot more elaborate on this level uh, as I've been building it and I expect anyone who's level building to um, to come across things that's going to improve their work. Uh, in my original diagram I've had uh, some objects blocking the view from the starting locations and starting locations are being here and here uh, and we've done that already we put these starting locations in um, but I needed additional vehicles other than what UDK had to offer now most of my tutorials so far have been uh, only incorporating what UDK has to offer so importing is uh, pretty easy uh, so long as you're using an FBX file uh, it's a lot easier, in my opinion, than uh, previous versions of UDK um, from several years ago. So first things first, um, let's go ahead and open up our content browser. Um, make sure your package is loaded and saved. Now I've set up this hierarchy already for um, my meshes and what I want to do is right click import and um, let me find this oil truck that I've been playing with so I've got um, oil truck it's still in my opinion not perfect but I think it'll be game ready so I'm going to import this modified uh, oil truck click import make sure it's in my package it's in the group under the grouping that I want and uh, the name uh, I've selected uh, import tangents for the normal maps because this does have normal maps attached to it and we're not dealing with the skeletal mesh so we don't have to worry about that Uh, and I did state uh, import materials and textures, invert normal maps, and uh, create groups automatically. Now there might be a little bit of cleanup 
uh, after this is imported. Um, we'll see when we're done here. So just say OK, and I'm going to say OK to all. It should automatically build my materials for me. OK, so here is our static mesh, and it did not. Well, it put um, one of the materials on. It put the bump map on. We're going to fix all this. And uh, let's see here, materials. I'm going to save this package. Go to materials. And don't see my bus in there. Or my um, truck. Here's my truck. And let's make sure these guys get moved. And we're going to move this to materials. Yeah, same materials. So let's go to materials find that there it is and let's save all these guys open up this material and we're missing the texture so it kind of put this generic texture in so I deleted that Let me find my texture and where is my texture? Looks like it did not import my texture properly. Nope. That's fine. We'll just uh do another import. Import and oil truck. Oil truck two because I modified it. And put in textures and all right, good. Save this again. All right. Open that material back up. Now let's go back to textures. Grab that texture oil track. Actually, I'm going to drag it in. Drag and drop. There we go. And we're going to use, just going to pop that into here, drop that into the diffused, and that material is now fixed. Close that. Go back to our content browser. Save the package at our meshes and voila fixed now it has no collision so I'm going to double click that open that up just kind of inspecting it and then we're going to set collision let's do a basic collision and to show that collision we'll click on this icon right here uh, and I'm going to get a little more complicated by adding an auto convex collision apply now if you get too crazy with the uh, hull verts and splits and depth um, <laughs> it can actually crash my or excuse me crash UDK alright that looks good save it and you notice here it's not in doesn't say no collision in yellow there. Save package. We're ready to put this in. 
back to meshes and let's take a look at take a look at our diagram here so I need something blocking here 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 and I've got a couple vehicles in the way but I'm not so sure they really block anything is dragging in we want to get a scale proportion and it is out of scale increase that size looks yeah it looks kind of right right ish I guess that'll do for now. So I have a bus here and a bus in the center. I don't have anything on that side really blocking anything. In, in my diagram, I think originally had like a separate or on opposite sides, this side, that side, kind of catty corner to each other. We've got kind of a pile up here. Of course, I can make duplicates of this vehicle. And that's really all there is to importing FBXs. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Have a great day.